music was my way to, I guess music was like my own escape growing up in terms of like expression and me, you know, expressing myself creatively. I felt like growing up, I didn't always have um, like my own safe space at my own house. I felt like my safe space was literally going to school, middle school all the time. Like that's where I felt like I could, you know, be free and be who I am and yada, yada, yada. But um, I feel like it was, I don't know, Growing up, middle school, high school, it was a very, um, I was always outside, outside the crib, you know, never in the house because I felt like, I don't know, the, my own house was like the only place where I felt like I couldn't um, like express myself freely. And that was like a big block for me um, growing up, trying to get people to understand me a little bit more in my own house. But um, it was crazy because I was telling a friend to him, uh, I'm so used to being in Chicago all the time mm -hmm. that until I came out here, now when I go back, I don't know if this is just me, but I'd be smoking and I'd be high as fuck and I'd be tweaking when I go out there now on breaks and I'd be like, dang, is it me or is it really ugly out here? Like, mm -hmm. like in the neighborhood, I don't know why, like now when I go back, I start to notice the differences like even more about the city, like dang, like shit is not getting better out here and i didn't realize it up until like you know i visit chicago um yeah you ain't crazy yeah you're trying to be cute all right we here with vicky teens here on juan productions channel thank you so much for showing up man you know i've been keeping it. up with I you i appreciate y'all for bringing me out um i'm excited for this chop it up with you we got a lot of things to talk about <laughs> for real I know, I remember the first time I saw you perform, and it was at Canopy. I, I believe it was during Choir Day. Oh, okay. And I don't know if you remember, recently we had talked about, I had complimented you on your stage presence, yeah. right? So I want to just highlight, where does that stage presence come from? I think it's just like, um, it's just, it's organic. It's just the natural vibe that I think you just kind of have to have when it comes to building that connection with the crowd. You can't really script it in your head too much or, you know what I mean, overthink it. You just gotta, it's just a vibe. You just gotta go with the flow and if, you know, feed off the energy that people give you too, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just go up there and expect people to turn up for you automatically. Like, you gotta, you gotta get turned for people to get turned with you. So, X. you know, it's a little bit of everything. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I work with an artist, many artists and to me, I feel like putting your music out there can be nerve-wracking yeah. or even performing can be nerve-wracking. Do you ever experience any type of like stage nervousness before you go and perform? I, I experience it like every time I perform. Every time I go before I go on stage or whatever it is, I always have like a little mini panic attack, but I always got to, you know, rewire my brain and tell myself, like, I need to stop, I need to chill. I'm here for a reason. They wouldn't have booked me if I wasn't good. You know what I'm saying? You just... The voices in your head start telling you all the bad shit that, you know, you shouldn't be hearing right before, you know, a moment like that. So, always good to have, you know, personal pep talks to yourself before you go out on stage and, you know what I mean, shake it off and all that shit. Hell yeah. yeah. This side, like, Hobo Park area, um, yeah, I lived there my whole life and... I didn't come out here till 2019. Yeah, so I'm already gonna graduate in December and I'm gonna go back after. Oh yeah. yeah, get that get yeah. that degree because I'm on the same path as you. I know how difficult it can be. Yeah. Being a music artist and then you pursue a higher education, it's not an easy task. It's not, it's not easy because I, I didn't realize it till like probably two, three years ago where it was just like, damn, this is getting tiring. I can't just keep dropping these tracks and not doing anything with it. You got to start really investing in yourself if you really want to take off somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to make money, you got to put in money somewhere. So definitely being a student and then handling classes and the homework time and all of that and then work and then at the same time trying to come up with new ways to promote yourself and, you know what I mean, getting booked and yada, 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 getting my name out there. Like, it's a, it's a tough balance, but shout out to all the student artists that you know what I mean? I'm holding it down and still getting their content out there because it's hard. Hell yeah. I want to go back to you grew up in Humble Park, right? Yeah. Chicago. Yeah. So I asked anybody this who's 
who's blessed my platform like you, like, who come to talk to me. Yeah. Everybody who lives in Chicago kind of have the same but unique difference. So what was it like for you growing up in Chicago? In terms of? In terms of just, like, your childhood, your coming to age, like, your household and everything. Um, I mean, growing up, I felt like um, music was my way to, I guess music was like my own escape growing up in terms of like expression and me, you know, expressing myself creatively. I felt like growing up, I didn't always have um, like my own safe space at my own house. I felt like my safe space was literally going to school, middle school all the time. Like, that's where I felt like I could you know, be free and be who I am and yada, yada, yada. But um, I feel like it was, I don't know, growing up, middle school, high school, it was a very, um, I was always outside, outside the crib, you know, never in the house because I felt like, I don't know, the, my own house was like the only place where I felt like I couldn't um, like express myself freely. And that was like a big block for me um, growing up, trying to get people to, understand me a little bit more in my own house but um it was crazy because I was telling a friend too um uh, I'm so used to being in Chicago all the time mm -hmm. that until I came out here now when I go back I don't know if this is just me but I'd be smoking and I'd be high as fuck and I'd be tweaking when I go out there now on breaks and I'd be like dang is it me or is it really ugly out here like mm -hmm. Like in the neighborhood, I don't know why, like now when I go back, I start to notice the differences like even more about the city. Like, dang, like shit is not getting better out here. And I didn't realize that up until like, you know, I visit Chicago. Um, just in terms of like, you know, shootings and shit out there. Like it's, I was so used to it growing up that like now when I go back it's like it's so much more noticeable because I be smoking all the time and mm -hmm. now when I when I do smoke I get real like anxious but also I get very like um high alert like I'm always alert when I'm high like I'm very like noticing all the little shit about anything so that was one thing that I noticed for sure like it's definitely it's, a different energy when yeah. you been at school in a different town do you go back to your hometown yeah. Like, I, I definitely felt what you were saying, because 